What's going on guys, I'm the Modern Film Critic and this is the first episode of the Blu-ray Thief and this is my first Blu-ray update ever. I just converted two Blu-rays, I was a DVD guy for a while and then I finally bought a Blu-ray player and I've been collecting some Blu-rays and the first update is going to be quite a lot of stuff, more than the future ones, but we'll talk about that later. I've got to get this going because I think, uh, I think, we, I think we have, we're good for now, we got some time and so I'll go ahead and get into these. I don't, want, I don't want them to come and track me down or anything. The first movie I stole was The Incredible Hulk. Uh, this is actually the first Blu-ray I've ever owned, and I watched it, and I really, really enjoyed it. I think Edward Norton is a very good Hulk. I think the movie looks really good. Um, yeah, the Blu-ray transfer is very good, and uh, the, I like the scene. I like, you know, I like the fight scene at the end, and overall it was a very good movie. It's probably the best Hulk movie we've had in a while. So, yeah, it was, it, it was good to see, you know, light shine, shone, shined whatever. It's good to see some light on the whole Hulk franchise. Now the next movie I'm going to be talking about is, which is kind of weird because these two covers are kind of similar in a way. That's kind of weird. But the next movie I'm going to be talking about is Pacific Rim. is a movie I saw in the theaters this year and I really enjoyed it when I watched it and it sort of left my brain when as time passed. But it came out on Blu-ray, and I was like, this is going to be a Blu-ray that I own. The movie looked very good, no doubt about that. So I was like, I've got to check this out on Blu-ray. So I did, and I do not regret it because it looks very good on Blu-ray. And it does still stand up. Will it be on my top ten list? Probably not. But it is a fun action movie. That's probably what it should be called. Popcorn movie for summer. Honestly, that's what it should be called. But no, it's a very, very fun, a very fun movie, and it looks very good on Blu-ray. Now the next Blu-ray I'm going to be talking about is Inception. Now, I don't know how I'm going to talk about this because I have never seen Inception. I have the Blu-ray, and I really need to see it. I'm going to try and get to it sometime this week and watch it, but as, as of now, I have not seen it, so I really can't say much. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for what I think about Inception in a further Blu-ray episode. Now, a movie that I have seen, but I haven't seen the Blu-ray transfer for it is Argo. I love Argo. It was a very good film of last year. Should have, should have, hit, should have, hit, should have it won Best Picture. Probably not. I don't know. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm still tied. I'm still... I really enjoyed Lincoln. But um, Argo, I bought it on Blu-ray for like $4, and I haven't seen the Blu-ray transfer yet, but it is a great film, and I, and I expect greatness out of the Blu-ray transfer. Also, got to check this one out. Uh, love this movie. If you have not seen Argo, definitely check it out. Now, the next movie is a movie that I actually watched tonight for the first time ever, uh, Pulp Fiction. And it was a surprise because I've heard, you know, this is a great movie, this is a classic, you've got to see Pulp Fiction. And I was like, okay, I bought it on Blu-ray for like four bucks, and I watched it, and it's great. I'm not, I'm not the biggest Tarantino fan as the next person is. Uh, I don't really keep up with his stuff, but this is probably one of his best movies. I still need to let it sink in a little bit because I just finished watching it right before doing this video. So, I mean, it... I know that I really, really loved. I really, really loved it. It's a very good movie with great dialogue, and the Blu-ray transfer is actually pretty good. I haven't seen the original cut, so I'm not really sure how to compare them. But everything looked good. Good job, Tarantino, and good job, Blu-ray. Now the next movie that I bought is also a movie I have not seen until I got it on Blu-ray. The Big Lebowski. Now I hear it's like you've got to see this movie. It's a cult classic movie to watch, uh, and uh, I was excited because it was only five bucks, and it's a digibook. As you can see, it's got some. You know, pages. It's got some extra content, and uh, it, it's a very, very good-looking movie, and it is hilarious. If you have not seen The Big Lebowski, I highly, highly suggest it because it is so much fun, and it's so funny. And yeah, like great performances by Jeff Bridges and got John Goodman. He is so funny in this movie. John Goodman steals this movie, and it's he, it's so, so much fun to watch him act. These these actors are having so much fun in this movie, and I had so much fun in this movie as well. One of my favorite movies of all time, got it on Blu-ray for $5 at Walmart, No Country for Old Men, directed by the Coen Brothers. This is a great movie of cat and mouse, elevated to the next level, with great performances by Tommy Lee Jones, Javier Bardem, and Josh Brolin. This is what put Javier Bardem on the map. I've never heard of him until I saw this, and I was like, this guy's going somewhere. And now he's got some crazy haircuts going on, and some also awesome movies like The Counselor, and Skyfall, and movies like that. Definitely love this movie. If you have not seen it, what are you doing? Close this review, watch this movie. Blu-ray transfer is very awesome as well. Then we're going back in time. Stanley Kubrick triple feature. Now I have a sleeve for this. I have a sleeve for a lot of these movies, but I like to store them up so they don't get really damaged. But Stanley Kubrick is a great director, and if you haven't seen any of his films, 
What are you doing? I have seen 2001 A Space Odyssey and The Shining. I have not seen A Clockwork Orange. I saw 2001 A Space Odyssey on Blu-ray, and it looks great. The movie looks great, period, but this makes it look even better. I don't know how he made this film. I still ask, me, ask that question every time I watch it. 2001 is one of my favorite films of all time. I have not seen The Shining on Blu-ray, and I have not seen The Clockwork Orange, but I love The Shining. It's one of the best horror films of all time. Uh, but A Clockwork Orange, still got to check that one out. But other than that, Blu-ray transfer is awesome. 2001 A Space Odyssey is awesome. Definitely check this out if you're a big fan of Kubrick. Now a movie that I kind of bought for myself today, actually, um, it was a film called The Heat. came out this year. I thought it was the funniest movie of the year laughed so much in this movie. I, right when I got it home, I popped it in and it still held up for me. Is it going to be is it going to be my top 10 of the year? Probably not, but it's still a very very funny movie. These two have great chemistry in this film. I'm not a big McCarthy fan, but she was she was great in this. I'll, I'll give her that. She was really awesome. Uh, you can tell a lot of the stuff was ad lib. The Blu-ray transfer was really really good. I didn't notice a lot of great enhancements in it, uh, but I mean overall good looking. The movie is hilarious. If you have not checked out The Heat, check this one out. Some people like this at the end. I'm on this side. I really enjoyed The Heat. A really good buddy cop comedy. Now, one of my favorite films of 2012, Les Miserables. A lot of people hate this film. Uh, I know it got a lot of negative uh, reviews, but it also got a lot of praise as well. It's kind of divided, honestly, but I love this movie. I'm not a big fan of musicals, but I saw this, and there was just something about this movie. Something so charming that just... Just, just blew me away. The, the performances, the songs. There isn't one song in this movie that I hate to listen to. All of these songs in this film are awesome. It's shot great by Tom Hooper, and the Blu-ray transfer is absolutely fantastic. If you love Les Miserables, do yourself a favor and buy this because it is great. Found this for like six bucks. I was like, I've got to buy it. Russell Crowe, he's not the best singer, but he's still a good actor. He plays a really good sort of antagonist in this film, and all of them, all I can listen to the soundtrack all day. I love, love, love Les Miserables. Definitely check this one out. Now a movie that I also watched today, not for the first time, is my favorite film of 2012. Paul Thomas Anderson's The Master. This is one of the greatest films of all time. I love The Master so much. This is a film of great performances. It's beautifully shot. It's beautifully crafted. And every time I watch it, I get something new out of it. It's such a good movie. This is actually not the case. It's a reversible case. You want to check it out? Here's the front. There's the back. Uh, a lot of special features on this Blu-ray also. And it looks really, really awesome. The Master, Joaquin Phoenix, is so good in this movie. And I, I, I'm so glad I found this in like a ten dollar bin. This is this is definitely out of all the movies that I have bought, this is the, my favorite one that I have seen. This movie looks so beautiful on Blu-ray. This is probably the best looking Blu-ray I own right now. I, mean, I don't have a big collection, but this is probably the best one. And it, I'm so happy I found this on Blu-ray. Love the movie. This is one of the. This movie always, and, and, and like during the week, this movie will some somehow pop into my head, and I'm like, I've got to watch this movie again and again and again, because I, like I said, I get something new out of it every time. The Blu-ray looks great. The movie still holds up. Perfect movie. Good job, Paul Thomas Anderson. Now the last movie I talk, I'm going to talk about is a movie that I have not seen yet. I got it today, really cheap. Hot Fuzz. This is actually the steelbook of Hot Fuzz. I saw The World's End. I really enjoyed that movie, but um, I have not seen Hot Fuzz yet, and I'm definitely going to check this one out because it looks funny. Uh, I, I really enjoy Simon Pegg, and it just looks like a fun time, and the steelbook is really cool. It's got a lot of bonus features in it. Uh, it feels cool. This is, besides the G.I. Joe Retaliation steelbook, this is my first steelbook I've owned, and uh, I'm super excited to see this. Uh, I can't really say much because I haven't seen it, but I'm looking forward to it. And that is the conclusion of my first Blu-ray collection. I'm going to have to get going soon because I, uh, I don't know, I just think I've, I've been here for too long and they're, they're tracking me down, so I've got to go return these. But, um... Uh, what are your thoughts on my first Blu-ray collection? Which one is your favorite? And which one are, have you not seen? Which one are you excited for? And what are your thoughts on any of the movies that you saw? Let me know in the comment section, guys. And stay tuned for another Blu-ray update coming soon. Thank you for watching.